ये पेट को पेट गाय और एक केस शो केस को जुमी मैंने ये देखो मैंने ये देखो मैंने ये देखो सांद है Before this trip to a remote part of northeast India, there were 6909 living languages known to scientists. Now there is one more. National Geographic's Enduring Voices project brought linguists Gregory Anderson and David Harrison to a region of India that requires a special permit just to enter. To reach one village where this language is spoken, the expedition team had to cross a mountain river by bamboo raft. It would be the first known time the language would be recorded. Arunachal Pradesh is the home of an endangered language known as Koro. It's part of the Tibeto-Burman language family, a group of some 400 languages. But until now, Koro was unknown to world linguists. Only about 800 people are believed to speak it, with few under age 20. Harrison, Anderson, and Indian linguist Ganesh Murmu sat in the homes of the speakers, making recordings as people shared vocabularies and stories in Koro. The researchers were in the region to study two poorly known languages, but in speaking to the locals, detected the third surprise language. It contains very sophisticated knowledge that these people possess about this valley, the ecosystems, the animals, the plants, how they survived here, how they adapted. So if they switch over to another language, a lot of that knowledge will simply be lost. The scientists believe Koro may have sprung from slaves in the region, but they say more research is needed to determine precise origins. Linguists consider half the world's nearly 7,000 languages endangered threatened by cultural changes, ethnic shame, and even government repression. But at least with the Enduring Voices project, languages like Koro can be recorded and documented for the ages.